Hey everybody, this is Steve. Uh, in this video, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, web to inks online design tool. Uh, right now we're on a sample website, uh, bigprintin.com. Uh, this is the home page. Uh, so let's go over how your customers would access the online designer. Typically a lot of our clients want to have simply a design now button somewhere in their menu or sometimes they have it on uh, their home page banner um, but basically this button is going to launch the design program where you can go ahead and pick your own product um, so that's probably the easiest way to get there but typically uh, I think people like to kind of shop around on the products for example you're looking for t-shirts you're you want the Gildan Ultra Cotton t-shirt so a client could just click design now or show more uh, so say if they did click show more it would uh, bring up that product with all the available colors uh, and then with a simply with a design now button down on the bottom so once the designer launches you can see the the product image is in the middle it's nice and big uh, over here on the right hand side there's some controls to switch from the front to the back side uh, if you have your product set up with a sleeve print or say inside neck print uh, all of those positions would be right there as well uh, show area that's going to show the printable area of the garment and then the zoom button is going to zoom you in to show just that printable area uh, if a client has a more detailed design or they're working on a they want something placed just right sometimes zooming in can help uh, up here, this is where you're going to select the color of the product. Uh, so this is a Gildan Ultra Cotton t-shirt. It comes in a lot of colors. So uh, we'll just go ahead and pick this pink color. Over here, this is going to be the design tool. So we'll start with adding text. Uh, very straightforward. Uh, you just type in your text there. Pick your font and your color and then add custom text that's going to pop that up uh, and these on-screen controls are going to let you scale the image uh, rotate the image and then you can scale the image with distortion with these other little buttons if you wanted to stretch it or kind of squeeze it All right, so let's get rid of that. Uh, the add clip art feature is nice. When you set up a web to ink site, the software, the designer, is going to come with about 7,000 clip art images already included. Uh, and you can filter them by the amount of colors, um, what type of image they are, like what genre, uh, and then the orientation, landscape, portrait, and square. And then in, to choose an image, you'll just double click on it. And from here, you've got control over the colors on the image. Uh, once you've got it the way you want, you can click continue and it will load it onto the shirt. Uh, so let's go ahead and get rid of that piece of clip art. The vast majority of customers tend to upload their own images. Um, so that's what we'll do here. This is the upload image tool. Once you click this, it's going to allow you to browse for a file. And once you click on one, it will upload. Uh, this is a little preview of the file. A lot of the times JPEG files and certain file formats come with white backgrounds. Uh, if you want, you can just click the remove color tool, click continue. It'll automatically remove the white background uh, but you can use this to remove any color from a graphic. So say, for example, we wanted to remove the black. Uh, we would just click on the black and then adjust the threshold to remove more of the black, all of the black, or just the absolute uh, smallest amount of black. So, if, But for this case, we're just going to choose the white. That's what happens the vast majority of time. We'll put that at 70%. Click on Continue. 
Uh, these are some other effects which mainly apply to photos like sepia tone, grayscale, um, and an effect overlay. So say for example you have a file that's black but you wanted to make it red. You could click that and just choose a different color to make that file. Click continue and it's going to add that uh, to the shirt. That's kind of funky looking so let's just change it to something that might look cool. There we go, that's bright. and Nah, that's a little bit too much. Let's go with a tan. There we go, that looks nice. Uh, so that's how you upload a file. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, right here, this is the choose product tool. So say if you start with one item uh, and you just want to choose something else, this will open the catalog where you can just select a different product. Uh, let's switch to the back of the shirt. Now if you have a project that requires names and numbers like sports jerseys or you know, you're putting together a team for a 5k walk, uh, the team order is a really great function. So let me show you how that works. You just click here. So basically you're going to create a template. Um, for this example, let's say we're doing names and numbers. So you'd add a name style. Where it says example, that will actually be people's names. But in the design program, it's going to remain as example. So I actually like that font just fine. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to click on team order once again and add number style. Um, let me stretch that out just a little bit. There we go. So now we have styled the template. This is where the name will go. This is where the numbers will go. So once again, we're going to click on team order. And then we're just going to fill in all of our shirt sizes, our numbers, and how many we need. So let's see here. We'll do a 3XL. Uh, just one of each. Uh, let's see. And so this, of course, can just go on and on and on. You can just add as many, as many people as you like and make your list as long as you'd like. Uh, then once you're done with that, you would click Add to Cart. Uh, for now, we're just going to close this and get rid of this design altogether. We'll switch back to the front. Put another little piece of clip art on here. We'll just keep it pretty simple for now. So once you have a shirt designed, uh, that's going to activate a lot of the other controls, uh, such as sharing the design. So if you were to click on that, you can give the design a name, put in any notes, click on save, and then you're going to get all these options to share. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, email, you know, however you want to share it on social media, or you can just email it directly to people you know. Uh, we'll get rid of that. Uh, the next one is price it. This basically will take the configuration that you've made, and then you can kind of just check pricing based on whatever your needs are. So a lot of garments, for example, 2x and up tend to cost a little bit more so this will let your clients put in their actual order and see how much money they're going to need to spend. Other than that you would click uh, you know once you're all ready to make a purchase you would click buy now. Uh, this will show you just a quick mock-up uh, for your for you or your client to approve and then you can put in any notes here. Uh, from there on out you would put in quantities you need, add to cart, uh, and from there it's very typical e-commerce shopping cart experience. Uh, so let's take a look at one other thing that makes web to ink kind of unique. Um, you know we've already gone over the online designer. Uh, let me just load a product in here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So Web2Ink offers several different designer layouts that are standard. 
we can make a custom layout for your online design tool. Uh, this one that we're looking at now is called our full width designer. It takes up the whole page. Uh, but say your website and your design aesthetic are a little bit different. You can log into your account uh, on web to ink and just make a change. So I've already got that right here in this tab. Um, as you can see, we're using the maximized uh, designer in the color orange gray. Say if we wanted to change it, let's change it to the default designer and make it, let's make it red. Save that. That's going to automatically uh, change the settings on our website. So you can see we're back to our design page. We can just refresh that. And as you can see, the entire layout of the designer has changed. Um, with this design aesthetic, I like it the other way. So we'll put it back to maximized orange gray. Click on save. Go back there, refresh again. And we're getting the other design tool. Uh, let me show you one other feature right quick that kind of makes our designer unique. Uh, we're going to go down to all over tees. Dye sublimation and full bleed printing on products has become very popular, such as all over tees, socks. Uh, and then there's a lot of products that people have been printing like that for a long time, like mouse pads and koozies and other cut and sewn items. Uh, so for the sake of this one, we're just going to click design now. It's going to launch the design tool. Uh, everything looks the same, but this this particular product has a setting on it that will allow you to cover the entire product. So let's just take a look. I'm going to click upload image. Yes, I have the rights to use it. Uh, let's see here. We'll just grab this right here. And so that file is uploading. Usually with the all over images, the files tend to be a little bit larger, so it takes takes just a little bit longer to upload the actual images. All right, so that image has uploaded nicely. Uh, we're just going to click continue. Uh, we're not going to add any effects, so continue again. Uh, this right here, this is what's going to give you the option to either use this item as a background image or just as a layer. Typically, if you're trying to do an all-over dye sub shirt, you just want the you want the image big and to cover the whole thing. So you'd click on image on background, and then from here, you can adjust your image on the actual shirt. And the nice thing about this is you're going to be printing the entire shirt, but you can also add some layering to this. So say, for example, you wanted to make that shirt with the background and then have have another cool logo in the middle or on the sleeve or the left chest or wherever you wanted it. But yeah, I just wanted to take a second to show you guys how the all over printing portion of the online design tool works. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Um, thanks very much for watching. Bye bye now.